financial picture has changed to the point that when there were only three networks, all of those shows got all the money. And now it's just spread out to the point that, you know, there are shows that pay, nothing. you know, nothing. <laughs> but people still want to do it because they want to be in show business. And I wouldn't even know how to to tell somebody starting out how to go about it. I don't, you know, I, I mean, I think now anyone who wants to put a show on the web, just go out and do it. And so I, I think it's changed You know, I think ultimately you have to... There's going to be a moment in your career where luck comes into play, and when that moment happens, be ready and be good. I love it, and one of the things that I love about it, I mean, TV is great, but it's, you have, I mean, Monday you have a table read, when you have a run through Tuesday, run through Wednesday, Thursday cameras should come in, Friday you shoot the show. And half the time when an actor comes to you and says, you know, why am I doing this? Why am I even crossing from here to here? The answer is because you're, you're in a single over here and you have to be in a two shot over here. Could you just do it? And, you know, half the time they'll say, all right, fine, I'll do it. And half the time, you know, you'll get into a little bit of an argument about, you know, motivation and this and that. But you don't have, it's just different. You don't have time for that. And we just recently had a play running at the Pasadena Playhouse. And you got to rehearse it for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and when an actor would come to us and say why did you write this scene like this it was like the first time really in I mean a long career that I thought I have no idea and I guess as an actor wow that's so cool you actually have to understand that in order to make this real and it was just great having the time to sit with them and talk about why are you doing this? Why did we write this? What about if you tried it like this? What if you tried it like this? And not feel like, literally, okay, the hour that I'm spending with you now is going to make it that I'm leaving at 3 in the morning tonight instead of 2 in the morning tonight. So, and then I think that... Well, the other thing is, once you've finished writing a play and they open it, they do it over and over and over, and you don't have to write another one <laughs> for Monday morning. Well, and it morning. gets better and better and better. You know, at sitcom... Yeah. Like the best reaction you can have on a Friday night is, whew, and the play opens on um, an opening night, and then the actors breathe life into it and breathe life into it and breathe life into it, and six weeks later, they're saying the same lines, but it's a different play, and it's you know hopefully gets better and better and better and better, as the actors fill in you know opening night. I think, you know, there's the. 12 key moments in their performance that they've decided what they're going to do and then as the play goes on they fill in from moment one to moment two to moment three but so then there's a hundred key moments by the time you're in week six and you just watch them you know I really I mean I never really appreciated what an actor really does until I started doing theater We have a play, a comedy that we've written that that would be awesome to see that put up again. Um, and we have a musical we're kind of noodling around with. And uh, and another musical that we're kind of reworking. There you so, go. And a movie, sort of, that our daughter's making, making us write. <laughs> Thank you for watching The Writer's Block on the Virtual Channel Network. <laughs>